Okay, we're here with Jamie Turner to discuss diesel at bump. Uh, if you could decode that for us, please, sir. Happy to. So, diesel is a uh, it's a uh, framework for writing network applications in an unblocking style. So, in some ways, it's similar to Twisted or to G Event or something like that. So. Um, it's especially similar to G-Event in that it's coroutine based. So um, a couple of years ago, I was hired by this company, Bump, and um, they sort of had just gotten to about 8 million users and were on this trajectory to go really high. And they were kind of just looking to sort of redo their infrastructure. And so we were evaluating a bunch of non-blocking solutions that would look Android and, uh, and the server backend. So we were looking for something that would make it really easy to develop, would scale up to many users, et cetera. And so um, we actually started developing Diesel based on some earlier work I had done at previous companies, um, what we were really trying to capture, the reason we deviated from the other solutions that were out there were, we were uh, I had had a lot of recent experience doing work in Erlang, and I really wanted to basically get that Erlang-like environment, meaning not only the sort of like lightweight process-based concurrency, but also the great sort of tools out of the box and all the things that OTP provides, providing a lot of those analogs inside of Python. So that's what Diesel aimed to do. Um, we uh, rolled it out um, in about, let's see, about a year and a half ago, and we've just been spending the last year and a half hardening it and refining it and testing it and all that kind of stuff and we've just reached the point where we're ready to sort of put out a new website new docu uh, documentation and start start getting the project out there a little bit more so we've had some people that were interested in it and they'd come say hey this looks cool how do I do anything with it and we hadn't <laughs> we've been so busy building we hadn't documented anything like how does anyone outside the company know how to use this so we're, we're now making that effort to get it out there and we think it's good stuff I see there's MongoDB involved in this somehow yeah, so it ships with a bunch of protocols out of the box. Um, it ships with uh, zero MQ, every variant of HTTP, HTTP 1.1 server and client. You know, you got to have WSGI bindings. It has WSGI bindings. It actually has tight Flask integration in a kind of more first class way. It uses Flask's request and response model internally. Um, it supports Redis. We make heavy use of Redis. We probably have about a terabyte and a half of RAM devoted to Redis at Bump. Um, and uh, it MongoDB and the other one has really good support for is Reoc. We use the Reoc distributed database really, really heavily. So it's got some really cool uh, protocols out of the box, and writing new ones is really, really easy in this because it's basically a framework designed for writing protocols. So, so this has been packaged up as a product that people can download. You didn't really have to do that, right? But you did that. Why? Well, the the origins of Diesel were open source products uh, projects, and um, Bump is a really open source friendly company. So there was no big deal to them to say, I mean, uh, le hey, let's take this framework that a lot of it really is stuff that I've developed at open source and developed at other institutions that agreed to open source it, and s said, why don't we continue to do this out in the open? And they were cool with that, and it has the usual benefits open source has, and that you get a lot more eyeballs on it, you have a lot more interesting ideas coming at you about what you could do with it. So less legal, less legal hassles for everybody trying to get licenses and stuff like that yeah yep. excellent since we benefit so heavily heavily from that being a linux python nginx ha proxy etc cetera, etc cetera, gcc at the fundamentally right like base shop i mean it's it only makes sense to sort of give back i think it's cool more and more companies are starting to think that way these days so. excellent thank you very much sir i know bumps uh, very profitable and uh popular among many people with their bumping phones yep <laughs> thank you thank you